हेलो फ्रेंड्स हियर इज अ रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन सिल्डेनाफिल ड्रग कॉजेज ब्लू विजन एक्सप्लेन वाई नाउ सिल्डेनाफिल ड्रग पॉपुलर ट्रेड नेम वायग्रा एंड अदर ट्रेड नेम्स आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू द रेफरेंसेज वेयर दे मैंशन ब्लू पिल कॉजेज ब्लू विजन एक्सप्लेन वाई सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट इन थ्री पार्ट्स लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द ड्रग एंड इट्स मेकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन देन वी विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट कलर विजन and then we will link the two why the sildenafil causes a particular type of color vision uh, i had made this video before but then uh, there was a very elementary mistake in that video about the cyclic gmp gated sodium channel and one of my students uh, raju joshi pointed that mistake out uh, the uh, it was a very basic mistake so uh, now i am making this video again right so i'm thankful to uh, mr raju joshi thanks uh, Sildenafil, the drug, is basically a PDE inhibitor. That's its mechanism of action, and specifically, it inhibits the enzyme uh, PDE five subtype, phosphodiesterase enzyme subtype five. What is the action of phosphodiesterase enzyme? It is known to cause breakdown of cyclic GMP, and therefore, this enzyme. decreases the levels of cyclic gmp now sildenafil by inhibiting this enzyme will not allow the breakdown of cyclic gmp that means it results in elevation of cyclic gmp levels now you know cyclic gmp uh, is a second messenger for nitric oxide also nitric oxide being a potent vasodilator so vasodilator action will be pronounced uh, and that is how or that is where uh, this drug is primarily used where it is prescribed so that's the point number 1 mechanism of action of sildenafil now let's see something about the color vision uh color vision is by cones as you all are aware probably and we need to understand an unstimulated cone and then the stimulated cone and how the color vision is perceived or how the color is perceived so here is an unstimulated cone when uh, light is not reaching the retina and uh, light is not striking a rod or a cone what happens is in the outer segment of the rod or cone there is a cyclic gmp gated sodium channel that is uh, it is its gating is by the cyclic gmp so uh, in the outer segment and when light is not striking the rod or a cone this cyclic gmp inside the cone it binds to the inner aspect of the of the channel and keeps it open now the channel is open because of the cyclic gmp cyclic gmp binding with the channel so when light is not striking the rod or a cone what happens is from the inner segment where there is sodium potassium pump sodium is thrown out of the cone and then from the outer segment this sodium comes back so there is a certain sodium current or sodium cycle which is going on uh, when when the cone is unstimulated when light is not striking the cone or a rod and as i mentioned cyclic gmp levels inside the cone they keep this channel open now when the light strikes the rod or a cone uh there would be bleaching of the rhodopsin or or the color sensitive pigment in the cones and uh there will be activation or, or formation of transducin and eventually it will decrease the cyclic gmp levels now decrease cyclic gmp levels means this cyclic gmp gated sodium channel cannot be kept open now this channel is going to close because of the reduced cyclic gmp levels and that is how the sodium will go out by the sodium potassium pump but it cannot come back in now as the light has uh, is striking the rod or a cone this is a stimulated cone when light has stri uh, is striking the cone uh, this is a stimulated cone when cyclic gmp levels decreased and therefore the sodium channel could not be kept open sodium goes out but cannot come back in 
and the rod or a cone is hyperpolarized. So remember, it's the hyperpolarization of the, a rod or a cone, which is the stimulated rod or a cone. Receptor potential is a hyperpolarizing potential. Now, this is the link of cyclic GMP. Let's see the action of sildenafil, uh, which results in the blue vision. Now, sildenafil, as we saw, it's an inhibitor of PDE5. But then, there is also another phosphodiesterase enzyme, PDE6, which is exclusively present in the retina. So, this is present in the rods and cones. This enzyme, PDE6, is weakly inhibited by the sildenafil. And if it is inhibited, if the enzyme is inhibited, what we saw is that it will result in elevated levels of the cyclic GMP. This is what happens in the cones. There will be persistent elevation of cyclic GMP levels inside the cones. Now, normally, generally what happens is when light strikes a cone, there would be a decreased cyclic GMP levels and then they will be quickly resynthesized, replenished. So, this cycle is going on under normal circumstances. But then, with the action of sildenafil, this cycle will be disrupted. As you can see, uh, decreased cyclic GMP levels when the cone is stimulated. Then again, uh, immediately the uh, levels are replenished. This cycle is going on normally, generally in the rods and cones. But now this cycle is disrupted when you give sildenafil. And there will be persistent levels of cyclic GMP because of inhibition of phosphodiesterase uh, enzyme 6PDE6. Now, this happens particularly in the S cones. If you are aware, there are S cones, L and M cones, uh, as in short wavelength, long and medium uh, wavelength type of cones. So, this is particularly observed in the S cones, uh, uh, leaving L and M cones unaffected. What happens as a result of that is that the discrimination, particularly in the blue-green spectrum of the wavelength, that discrimination is affected. And therefore, uh, with uh, this uh, getting affected, the entire appearance shifts toward the blue. Now, I, I was trying to search for uh, references further molecular mechanism, but this is what is given as the possible molecular mechanism uh, and that is how sildenafil uh, causes a blue vision and it is in a dose dependent manner, in a time dependent manner. It's a very temporary type of a side effect but the reason is persistent elevation of cyclic GMP levels and uh, that disrupts that cycle of decreased cyclic GMP when the cone is stimulated and then again immediately replenish cyclic GMP uh, in an unstimulated cone. So, uh, that disruption is known to result in the uh, blue vision caused by the sildenafil.